Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we will be going to see the various field zones of a particular antenna. So a particular antenna has got three main field zones. So what are those three field zones? First is the reactive near field zone, then comes the radiative near field zone, then comes the far field region. So now let us go into the three types of antenna field zones. The first we have is a reactive near field zone. In this kind of field zone, the reactive field dominates over the radiative field. So the reactive energy oscillates towards and away from the antenna, thus appearing as reactants. In this region, energy is always stored and no energy is radiated outwards. So if this is a particular dipole antenna, then if these are the antenna field zones, then this particular zone is the reactive near field zone. This is the reactive near field zone of a particular dipole antenna. Now, the next antenna field zone that we have is the radiative near field zone. So, the radiative near field zone is the antenna field zone in between the reactive near field zone and the far field region. Here, the reactive field is smaller when compared to the reactive field present inside the reactive near field zone of a particular antenna. And hence, as a result of this, the radiation field dominates in this region. The angular field distribution in this region is calculated as a function of the distance from the antenna towards that particular point. So, it is the region between the reactive near field zone and the far field region. The reactive fields are smaller in this region compared to the reactive fields in the reactive field region and therefore the radiation field dominates. The angular field distribution is a function of the distance from the antenna. So, therefore, when we consider a particular dipole antenna, this is the radiating near field region. Finally, we have the far field region. The far field region is the region outside the radiating near field region. So here the reactive fields are absent and therefore only radiating fields are present in this region. The angular field distribution in this region is not dependent on the distance from the particular antenna and the power density varies as an inverse square with the radial distance. So, region, it is a region outside the radiating near field region. Here, the reactive fields are completely absent and hence only radiating fields are present. The angular field distribution is not at all dependent on the distance from the antenna and therefore, the power density varies as an inverse square of the radial distance. This thus sums up the various antenna field zones that a particular dipole antenna has. Stay tuned for more videos and peace out. Thank you.